So, hi guys, this is Nakia Sanford, and I'm going to try to answer your questions. I'm usually a little more glamorous than this, but it's um, very early in the morning, and we're setting, <laughs> we're setting out on a eight-hour bus ride because the airport where we're um, going to play is flooded. Wait, two check, because I need you. Okay, <laughs> so we're on the bus right now, and those are our young one of our young players in the back back there, the other young player, and the other one who's like six, eight, is laid across the back seat. It's <laughs> <laughs> my teammate Tuche, Hi. and the rest of my teammates in the bus up front. Okay, so I'm going to answer a couple of your questions now since there are so many, and then try to get to the rest of them later. All right. How do you say good morning in Turkish? Good morning in Turkish is gnaiden, but my Turkish. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Aysun? I'm going to let somebody Turkish say it. <laughs> See if they do better. Tuche, how do you say good morning in Turkish? Günaydın. That's what I said. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anna, say good morning in, in Turkish. Günaydın. See, same thing. Günaydın, That's yes. one of our Americans. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you enjoy playing internationally? Yes, I do. It's kind of hard because you're always away from your family, but it's really fun to learn different cultures and eat all kind of crazy food and meet a lot of people. When did you first start playing basketball? I don't want to tell you because then I'm going to seem really, really old. Um, <laughs> did you always want to play basketball as a kid and what made you decide to play? No, I did not always want to play basketball. I didn't start until I was 15 years old. And I didn't want to play because I was so tall. And everybody told me I had to play because I was tall. So I didn't want to. I fought against it. And I did track and field instead. Until I changed my mind and started to play. Not pissing. Never kissing. Uh, what's your favorite country that you played in so far? Not Turkey. You have to tell. <laughs> no, my favorite country that I played in so far is Italy and Spain. Those are really cool countries. Yeah. Sorry, not Turkish. Okay. Oh my gosh. And do I have a bodyguard? No. Yes. Have you seen these guns? <laughs> I don't need a bodyguard. Do I live in a mansion? Uh, no. <laughs> And how many countries have you played in during your career, and what countries are they? Uh, nine, I think. Twelve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see, France. You're that old, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm that old, yeah. Uh, France, uh, Spain, Italy, Russia, Turkey, Turkey, Turkey Israel, Israel, uh, uh-uh. Belgium. Namir. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think that, oh, South Korea. And I think that's it. Something like that, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop right there, and I'll get to the rest of the questions later. Okay. All righty. Hi guys, well I made it to my destination and um, it's, I think I was talking to you guys at like 9 in the morning and now it's like 5 in the afternoon, it was a really long trip. I got a little sleep so I look a little more awake right now, hi! Okay, um, I'm in my hotel room in case you were wondering, it, it's just a regular hotel room, nothing special, just, you know, nothing too special. So I'm going to get to the rest of your questions, okay? So, let's see, where were we? What country? Oh, you know what? I forgot to say America. Duh. I was on my list of countries and I didn't say America, and I think that makes it nine. Okay, so the next question was, how did I make it to the WNBA and was I drafted? And actually, I'm one of the very few people who um, were not drafted and still had a, a long career. I think the average... Uh, professional career period is three to, like three to five years something like that I'm on year 12 um, I graduated uh, I love let's see I left school in 1999 
Ooh, I don't want to tell y'all years. <laughs> Never mind. I love school and I decided that I wasn't going to play basketball anymore. So I coached and I was a waitress and then I missed it so much that I tried out and the rest is history. Two years later, here I am. Um, I played overseas for two years, ten, 12 years, excuse me, later. Um, I played overseas for two years. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry. Let me rewind. Okay. So I tried out um, for a few clubs. And then um, teams, excuse me, overseas, they say clubs when they talk about teams. But I tried for a few um, teams and I was picked up by Washington, D.C. I went through the whole training camp, had a great experience. Uh, and then I got cut. And it sucked really, really bad. But I decided that it's still what I wanted to do. So I went overseas for two years. And after two years, one of the coaches came over and saw me and invited me back to D.C. It was a new coach. And I went to D.C. And I played there for eight years. And now I play uh, with the Phoenix Mercury. And I'll be going into my second season with them. So I've been playing overseas for 12 years now and playing in the WNBA. This summer will be my 10th year. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's my team record and how good is my team? I don't know my team's record. That's like really, really bad. But we're doing really good. We are third in our, um, in Turkey behind a team called Galatasaray, who, um, has three Olympians on it. Uh, uh, Tina Charles, Sylvia Fowles, and, um, Diana Taurasi, my teammate in the States. Fenerbahce, who has Olympians on it as well. Uh, Penny Taylor, uh, she is from Australia. She plays for our Australian national team. Angel McCautry, who plays for Atlanta Dream. And also, um, ah, Cappy Pondexter, who now plays in New York. So um, they're the top team, and then we're the team, um, the third place team. And we're playing, in one week, we'll be playing for the Euro Cup Championship against a team in Russia. So, um, you guys have to look up what Euro Cup is so you can understand it. But, um, so we're doing really, really well and it's been a great, great season, but I can't tell you my record. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, where is Turkey in Europe or the Middle East? Now, this is a really, really good question because Turkey is actually the only country. Okay. Let me not say, I don't know for sure if it's the only country, but I think it's the only country that is in two, on two different continents. Turkey, half of Turkey is in um, Europe. The other half is in Asia, which is really, really weird. It's such a big city. And there's a big bridge that goes over um, the Bosphorus River, or I'm sure, I'm I hope I'm not saying that wrong, but I'm sure I'm saying it kind of messed up, but it's Bosphorus river you can look that up as well it separates the two continents and turkey is on both sides so when you talk about turkey you'll say are you going to the europe side or the asian side so it's kind of it's a very very cool place but so it's on neither it's in both it's in europe and in asia okay so who's my favorite basketball player i love um i love lebron right now i'm not a kobe fan sorry um I used to love, like a lot of the older players, I guess because I'm older, I don't know, I used to love like Shaq, watching Shaq play and um, who else? Um, my female basketball player, I love um, Tamika Catchings and Cappy Pondexter, who I get to play against all the time. I love the way she plays and Diana, one of my teammates. And um, there's a lot of people, I can't say I have like a certain favorite, but I just like, I don't know, I like a few people. Okay. How many friends do I have? Um, you know, that's a good question because there's a difference between friends and acquaintances and maybe you guys don't know the difference yet, but I have very few friends because I think it's very, very important and you guys will learn as you grow older that you have a very tight knit group of people around you that you know, care and love you, love you, care about you and love you. So I don't have a lot of friends. Like, I have a few people that I can pick up and call whenever I need. Miss Robbins being one of them. And um, other than that, you know, I keep it really, really simple. And it's hard to have a whole lot of friendships anyway and make new friends because I'm always moving. I'm going here for a few months, somewhere else for another few months. So um, just a few friends that are just enough. Okay. 
Um, what is the dominant religion in Turkey? Okay, the dominant religion in Turkey is um, Muslim. They're Muslim. Um, and, for example, every morning outside my <laughs> house, I hear a man start singing at 5.30 in the morning. Clockwork. They pray five times a day. So you'll hear the mosque come on. And the man will start doing the prayer. And sometimes you can be riding down the street and you might see like workers on the side of the street with their mats and they'll be praying. But Turkey is actually a really liberal country. And for the most part, if you're in the main portion of Turkey, you kind of choose. It's kind of like home. Like, you know, maybe your parents are Catholic or your parents are Protestant or your parents are Baptist or whatever. But you can choose what you want to do. Some of um, the women cover their heads, but they wear normal clothes. And some of the women don't cover their heads and wear normal clothes. Some of the women will wear head to toe the dress, not quite the burqa where they have just the eyes out, but they cover everything else. And I really respect you know, every part of the culture because um, if it's your choice, then it's good. I have met some women who choose that. They think that, you know, it's a holy thing for them. So um, I definitely respect it. Uh, who do you think, what do you think is more competitive WNBA overseas? Definitely WNBA. Because when you come overseas, um, you're probably going to be one of the best players on the team. Like, no matter what, if you're American, um, that's why they bring us over, because we are taught sports from the time we're, we're children. In Europe and other countries, women in sports is not, you know, it's not as prevalent. So everywhere you go, there's not basketball or soccer or things like that. So they're not learning at the same level that we're learning. So uh, American athletes tend to be a little bit better in some sports. So... Um, when you go to the WNBA, though, everybody on the team is good. The person who doesn't play to the person who plays the most minutes. Like, everybody is good. Every team you play, everybody is good. So it's a little bit more competitive. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my day. Uh-oh, got my head up the wrong way. I'm at the end of my day. I've had my team meeting and my dinner. And I changed my nail color. <laughs> and now I'm with my trainer. And this is Ati. Bye. No, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Merhaba. Merhaba. Yes. Is Kia is I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my trainer Ati. And he keeps everybody healthy. Um he speaks us English. Yes, us English. them choke us Turkey. I speak yes. a little bit of Turkish. Yes. So Ati, uh Ethan us. Yes. They thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you. Okay. Uh, uh, good night, Turche. Good night. Uh, i̇yi akşamlar. Yes, iyi akşamlar. Good night. And good morning. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. And yes. Iyi Good afternoon. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, what is your name? What is your name? Uh, i̇smin ne? Adın İsmin, ne? Adın ne? Ata, Atalay Özen. Özen. Yeah, yes, evet. Okay. Atalay Özen. And um. How do you say where are you from? Where are you from? In uh, where are you from? I'm from in uh, Konya. Konya, yes. Yes, yes. But how do you say in Turkish? In Turkish. Where uh, are you from? In Konya. No, no, no. Ah, Nerelisin. Nerelisin. Nerelisin. Okay, so that's my little bit of Turkish. I don't know very much. <laughs> so I'm gonna get treatment now. I just thought you might guys might want to hear a little bit of the language. So we're gonna go. So bye. Bye. Gerda <laughs> Shudas. See you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>